Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see the rotating biological contact. So, in this lecture, this lecture includes the introduction of RBC that is rotating biological contact box, the flow scheme or flow sheet of RBC, process description of RBC, RBC controlling parameters, design guidelines and advantages and disadvantages. So, what are RBCs? RBCs that is rotating biological contactors are a fixed film aerobic biological wastewater treatment system. The primary function of this bioreactor at wastewater treatment plant is the reduction of organic loading. So as you can see in this picture, this is the schematic diagram of rotating biological contactors. So in this, the rectangular tank is there and sewage or wastewater is in placed in rectangular tank. So this is a circular rotating disc made up of plastic material and which is rotating uh, surrounding this circular shaft. So, the disc is continuously rotating. So, the part of this disc is immersed in this sewage and remaining part of this disc is open to this atmosphere. So, approximate 35 to 40 percent of this disc is immersed in this sewage and the remaining part is open to the atmosphere. So, the disc is supported by media. And as I told, it is continuously rotating. So, working of this rotating biological contactor is similar to the trickling filter or the mechanism is similar to the trickling filter. That is, these RBCs are worked on attached growth process just we have seen in trickling filter. So, when this disc or part of this disc is comes in contact with this sewage, the microorganism present in this sewage which are attached to this disc or surface of this disc. So, the bacteria or microorganisms present in this uh, biofilm which is attached to this disc is absorbing more and more organic material as a food and it will goes increasing and increasing. And the advantage of this uh, rotating biological contactor or the difference from uh, it will differ from how it will differ from the trickling filter that the aerobic bacteria are working in this process because once this disc is comes in contact with atmosphere the oxygen is provided to this attached biofilm and this process is going on. So, flow sheet of this uh, rotating biological contactor is, so first of all we are providing the pre-treatment in terms of screening and retreat chamber. Then the effluent is comes to the primary treatment that is in the primary sedimentation or primary clarifier. Then the effluent from this primary clarifier is goes to this rotating biological contactor. So, as you can see in this diagram, there are a number of drums or rotating biological discs are placed in each unit of tank. So, which are continuously rotating and which are placed in the uh, parallelly. And then the effluent from these RBCs are then comes into the secondary clarifier. So, whatever the sludge is settled at the bottom of the secondary clarifier which are passed to this solids handling devices or sludge digestion tank and the clarified water is then goes for the disinfection process. So, as I explained, the process of this RBC is, is a rotating biological contactor it is a secondary biological treatment process which utilizes a rotating shaft surrounded by a plastic media disc. 
RBCs utilize a fixed film media system similar to a trickling filter. The microbial growth is passed through the wastewater. However, while the wastewater is passed through the microbial growth in trickling filter. So that is the difference in trickling filter and in RBCs. So in RBCs, the microbial growth is passed through the wastewater. Because the media or the disc is rotating, and immersed in wastewater but in trickling filter the wastewater is passed through the microbial growth or wastewater passed through the microbial growth in trickling filter so you just trying to understand the difference in between these two units the biological growth attached to the media disc and form a slime layer over the disc similar in trickling filter this slime layer of bacteria and microorganism is also known as Zooglical film. The rotation of the shaft alternately exposes the biomass with the wastewater and then with the oxygen in the atmosphere because the disc is continuously rotating. RBCs are typically proceeds by preliminary treatment process such as screening and grit removal. RBCs utilize a fixed film media system similar to the trickling filter. The microbial growth is passed through the wastewater. However, in trickling filter, the wastewater is passed through the microbial growth in trickling filter. Biological growth attached to the media disc and form a slime layer over the disc. This slime layer of bacteria and microorganism is also known as a zoological film. RBCs are typically followed by secondary settling tank and disinfection. Sludge from the secondary or final settling tank should be pumped back to the primary clarifier or to a sludge thickener for a further treatment. So there are number of controlling parameters in RBCs. So first important parameter is organic loading and hydraulic loading rate. So as we already discussed what is organic and what is hydraulic loading. So the efficiency of RBCs depends mainly on the organic load is that is BOD loading rate rather than the organic concentration or flow rate. Organic removal rate increases with increasing the organic loading rate. What is biomass? So it plays important role in removing the organic matters and inorganic substances present in wastewater. And the next important parameter is speed. Speed of rotation helps in transfer of oxygen and nutrients required for the growth of microorganism present in biofilms. Next pa parameter is dissolved oxygen. In initial stage, dissolved oxygen level generally reduces and slowly recovered in successive stage. Higher the loading, there is sharp decrease in dissolved oxygen. And stacking. RBC in series achieved greater constituents reduction than a single stage of same total media and hydraulic volume. Temperature is also important parameter because the important factor affecting the limiting viscosity of RBC sludge and limiting viscosity decreases by increasing the temperature. Disc submergence. Generally, partially submerged RBCs are used for nitrification and fully submerged for denitrification. These are some design guidelines which are as the RBCs can be oriented in two ways either in series or in parallel. The RBC process is typically divided into four separate stages. Additionally, the disc design is made in such a way that large amount of biofilm can attach, which means that there is a large amount of biological mass present to degrade the polluters. The disc is made up of lightweighted material such as rished, corrugated and lattic disc like to make as much as surface available for the biofilm to attach. And a minimum hydraulic retention time for working of these RBCs is 0.7 to 1.5 hours is necessary for BOD removal to occur. So next is media. 
the biological slime growth media is composed of high density plastic circular disc or sheets usually 12 feet in diameter rotation of media the term rotates about 1.5 rpm speed appearance of media a gray appears gray shaggy appearing biological slime for the bod removal and a brown thinner less shaggy biological slime for a nitrifying system shaft the typical maximum length of shaft is 27 feet long with the maximum of 25 feet occupied by the media drive assembly the mechanical drives and air drives are used cover made up of fiberglass then what are the advantages and disadvantages of rbcs so there are advantages are like this process is this process has simple operation it requires very low energy also it have low head loss low solid generation the process stability with load variations this process is more reliable for the liquid solid separation no sludge return is required and high contact time and high effluent quality both for bod and nutrients and disadvantages of this systems are lack of flexibility sensitivity to industrial waste possible low dissolved oxygen limited control on this process and limited experience and training should be provided for this process thank you